guys, Max and Max's models here. Uh, the wife had to come to Joann's to get some stuff for dolls. And I have learned that it's an interesting place to look for possible little accessories for model building. And you wonder what would be sure back there by the flowers. But you know, I was talking about how expensive those res resin triffid kits are for Day of the Triffids. And I started looking around going, hey, there might be something here that I could actually kit bash into the triffids because they have all kinds of stuff here. And, uh, you know, plants and things. And you never know what you might be able to use and half the stuff is 40% off or half off so uh, I'm gonna go around the store and look for other things accessories that modelers might be able to use because there's all kinds of stuff here that when you th think like a modeler in miniature oh that could be used for this you know uh, necklace chains for anchor chains that sort of thing so let's see what we find well first thing there's all kinds of tools here uh, not exactly model building tools but a lot of the stuff could be used for model building and the prices are you know, they're okay, I suppose. Of course, there's blocks of foam and everything for, you know, there's no end of uses for a lot of this stuff. A lot of crossover here. And uh, you guys need to tell me, you know, what you buy at places like this that you use for model building. Because here's the kind of stuff you can make, you know, you could shave these and, and make a base for something. I mean, I mean, literally, your imagination is your limit. You know, one person's tray is on top of another's... Uh, lunar nuclear reactor facility this is uh supposed to be uh some kind of a mold but boy you could paint that up to be like you know rough ocean or something there's just there's all kinds of cool stuff here i start looking around and thinking oh man there's just all kinds of neat things i can do well <laughs> yeah, those are just spatulas <laughs> ball or potential beryllium sphere of course, all kinds of organizational stuff, but then again, nothing you wouldn't find at an office supply store. Well, some of it may be a little more specialized. You know, we're pretty good at finding, and you know, 50% off, and we're pretty good at finding uh, uses for all kinds of uh, organizational stuff, you know, spare parts bins or whatever you need. Hmm. Crossover of a lot of arts and crafts stuff that goes into model building, you know, cutters and mat boards Welcome. and things. Oh, well, thank you. Of course, they also have all kinds of balsa wood and things like that, stuff that's always useful. And uh, I imagine you could find a lot of this stuff at Hobby Lobby also. But um, again, imagination's your limit. And I'm seeing all kinds of baseboards for dioramas and stuff. <sighs> okay, do I need to say it? Yeah, we all know what this needs. A Godzilla. Mm -hmm. A nice little array of uh, perfect small bases for all kinds of model displays, and the bigger ones are down here. Oh wow, lunar surface rocks or pebbles on a you know rocks on a just oh look oh look at that you know maybe coal for a train who knows and they do have a respectable uh, supply of paints. Uh, spray paints and all kinds of acrylics and stuff. Uh, not model paint for specifically, but I'm sure there's a use for a lot of it. And, oh, this isn't paint. These are, uh, what are these, beads? Oh my gosh. All kinds of little tiny things like this could be just anything. Oh, wow. I'm going to snoop around and see what I could think of to use. Obviously, a wide array of brushes and uh, paint application accoutrement. markers stencils you know, some people and i've tried it myself have used these ink pencils for some things and uh well, they, they just you know there are no rules whatever works right now they have these little uh posable uh wooden mannequins of different sizes man there's just i mean gort i mean there's just all kinds of stuff you can make out of it heck you can make gort without much uh modification Oh man, I should probably, it's only $12, $13, the little ones are eight and nine. Hmm, maybe I should pick those up. There's just all kinds of potential there. Again, all kinds of orga organizational stuff. Uh, I have some things like this and they come in really handy. So, uh, yeah, you know, although they do have a lot, it is a fabric store technically, you know, Joanne's Fabrics, and they have a lot of fabrics. They have toys and things like that. Not models, but kids' toys. But all I'm getting at is all these ribbons, and chains and cloths and everything they all when you think miniature there's just all kinds of uses i'm sure you guys are already writing down some pretty cool ideas now what do we got down here uh, uh sewing stuff 
I've actually used uh, big pieces of cloth as backdrops before and it works pretty well. It doesn't reflect much light, makes a good neutral backdrop for photography and film. I think a triple got loose. That's the trouble with tribbles. Yeah. Well, one person's ornamental necklace is another person's anchor chain. There's all kinds of little bits and bobs here that when you think in miniature could be used for stuff. Just one of many stores that uh, just carry all kinds of things. You say rhinestones, I say photonic plating, <laughs> whatever that is. One person's jewelry is another person's alien atomic reactor core. Well, I guess, hope you enjoy these little pearls of wisdom. This is my trip over to Joanne's where there's all kinds of neat stuff that when you think in miniature can be repurposed into all kinds of cool things. Take care of yourself, guys, and as always, model on. I have to go look for more triffids.